you mentioned as we mature, um, it's often common for people to get that acid reflux or indigestion, right. Right. and that's a byproduct of not making enough acid a lot of times. So then when we take an antacid on top of that, and we're still encouraged to eat whatever we want because it's taking care of the symptoms, what's going on then? Well, then you have a whole host of problems. Then it's where it gets real interesting because, first of all, people are going to say, well, wait a minute. I took that proton pump inhibitor, what the doctor ordered, and I felt better. And what you find is that with vitamins, minerals, and many drugs, an excess or deficiency has similar symptoms. So for instance, vitamin A toxicity and vitamin A deficiency have similar symptoms. Vitamin D, same thing, excess and deficiency. When you talk about acid in the stomach, uh, those people who take those drugs and it seems to make them feel better, what's happening in the stomach is because of a low acid level, there is a fermentation going on, a putrefa putrefa uh, faction, uh, putrefying. And from that, there is this um, uh, biochemical disturbance in the gut that's causing their upset and that those proton pump inhibitors seem to provide symptomatic relief. They also uh, change your ability to digest food, so now you've reduced acid levels, which activates all the digestive enzymes, so now you're not extracting nutrients from your food. And one of the many side effects of these proton pump inhibitors is jaw necrosis. So what the body does, it says, all right, you're, you're creating an acid environment, and I'm going to neutralize that using extracting calcium, like Tums, from the bone, and the first bone that's considered sacrificial is the jawbone. So necrosis of the jawbone is one of the common side effects of some of these drugs. Hi, and thanks for watching this video. If you like that video and you like our channel, the best thing you can do is support us with a Patreon donation. You can find the link here on the right. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Again, that link here on the right. While you're at it, be sure to check out some of our more recent videos as well. You can find those right below. Thanks again for watching.